finding trigonometric function values and angle measures using the TI-83 calculator. For this and videos similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. Example, let's approximate each of the following expressions. Let's approximate the cosine of 49 degrees 12 minutes. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. First, we'll set the calculator to degree mode. So I'll simply enter the mode area of our calculator. We'll scroll down to the third line. We'll scroll over to degree, and we'll lock in degree by pressing enter. So we're now in degree mode. I'll now go back to my home screen, second and mode, which is the quit key. Next, we'll put in the cosine of 49 degrees. The degree symbol is in the angle function of our calculator, so that's second and matrix, which is angle. The degree symbol is our first choice, so we'll simply press enter. 12 minutes. I'll again go back into the angle section of the calculator. Minutes is the second choice, so I'll press enter. I'll close off the argument for cosine and press enter once again for a result of 0 0.65342. Next example, let's approximate the cosecant of 197.977 degree. If we take a close look at our calculator, notice that there's a sine and there's an arc sine. There's a cosine function and an arc cosine, tangent and an arc tangent. Notice there is no cosecant function. The sine, the cosine, and the tangent represent side lengths. The arc functions, which are arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent, represent angle measures. So let's take a look at the calculator solution. And first, we must make sure that our calculator is set to degree mode, which we're already in. There's no need to check that. Notice that there is no cosecant function. But from our trigonometry courses, we do have what are called reciprocal functions. So notice that the cosecant is equal to 1 divided by the sine of our angle measure. So I can't enter in the cosecant, but I can enter in 1 divided by the sine of 197.977 degree. Since I'm in degree mode, there's no need to actually enter the degree symbol, but I must enter minutes and seconds if I have them. I'll simply close off my parentheses. I'll hit enter for a result of negative 3.24. Next, let's take a look at finding some angle measures. And we'll use a calculator to find the angle theta in degrees that satisfies the sine of theta is equal to roughly 0.96. So in order to find an angle measure, We'll look at our arc functions. So we want to put in the arc sine. Well, first of all, let's make sure our calculator is in appropriate mode. And we should be in degree mode, which we already are. So now I'll simply put in the arc sine of 0.9677 seven seven zero nine one seven zero five I'll close off my argument for the arc sign we'll hit enter and we see that an angle that has a sign value of approximately 0.96 has an angle measure of approximately 75.4 degrees Let's look at our last example, and here we want to find an angle in radians 
that satisfies the tangent is equal to 0 0.25. So let's take a look at the calculator solution. Since this problem asks for the angle in radians, we must set our calculator to radian mode. So to accomplish this, we'll go into the mode area of our calculator. I'll scroll down to the third line. We want radian, so we'll simply hit enter. And now our radian is locked into our calculator. So we'll go back to the main screen by using the quit function, second and mode. So now we'll enter the arc tangent, which is second and tangent. Remember, we're trying to find an angle measure, so we want to use one of the arc functions. We'll put in 0.25. And we see that the angle that has a tangent value of 0.25 is roughly 0 